So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on these buttons. And I'm going to uh, change a few things about these buttons and I'm going to add an awesome effect that you will see shortly. So here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say dot product and then buy button. We have, remember, we have the buy btn, which is this. We have this button, buy, uh, buy now, which has a class called buy btn. So now for this uh, buy button, I'm going to change the background color. So I'm going to say background color instead of uh, black, I'm going to use this color. FB774B, which is a, an orange color. And I'm going to add a transform, uh, transform uh, Y, transform Y, uh, translate Y, translate Y, 50px. And then I'm going to also give it an opacity of 0. And I'm going to give it a transition, transition, so the, the transition is, uh, would be 0.3 seconds all. Now, if I save and refresh, you'll find that the button is gone. These buttons are gone. So why did I do this? The reason why I did do the uh, the reason why I did this is because I want these image uh, I want these buttons to to be displayed only if I hover over the product. Otherwise, I want these uh, buttons to be uh, to be uh, hidden. So to make these buttons appear, if I hover over the product, I can here say product, and then hover. Hover. If I hover over the product, what I want to happen is that I want the buy button to to be displayed. So to make this button sh to to make the button show up, I'm gonna say uh, transform and then translate y uh, uh, translate y zero. If I say zero px, now the button go will go from fifty px y which is the y axis all the way to zero which is the which is uh, its original location so it's going to go from it uh, initially it's going to be at 50 and then it's going to go to the uh, to its original uh, uh, location and uh, i'm going to also change the opacity to one because if you don't do this the the button will be hidden opacity zero means that uh, the button will not be there. It's not. It's not gonna show up. One. It means that it will have just the original opacity. Let me show you now what's gonna happen. So if I hover over the product, the button will show up, and if I hover outside, the the button will not be displayed, which is awesome. So this is for the button. Uh, another thing that I want to work on is the is this. Uh, separator. So for this separator, I'm gonna he here say hr, and then I'm gonna give it first a width. I'm gonna decrease the width to only 30 px, because as you can see here, it takes the complete um, width of the element of the parent, and I only want it to take a small width. And I'm gonna also change the height to be 3 px important, because I want to override the original design. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it opacity 1, important, and I'm going to change its background color. I'm going to use the, the orange color that I used earlier, which is this color, FB774B. 77, let me now save and let me refresh. And as you can see, it's going to look like this. But we want to move this from the left side to the to the middle. How can we do this? To do this, it's super simple. You can use the HR, uh, you can use the, uh, here you can use a bootstrap class called uh, MX Auto, MX Auto. This class would center the HR. Let me now show you this. As you can see, the line will be centered. Finally, I'm going to work on these uh, stars. So instead of the black, I'm going to display them in gold color, in yellow color. So I'm going to say here, star, because we already have a class called star here. Star, this class, star. So here I'm going to say star, and then 
for the star, I'm going to give it first a padding. I'm going to say padding, thin, top and uh, uh, top and bottom, and zero, left and right. And uh, for the star, I, I want to change its color. So first, I'm going to change the font size. I'm going to change its font size to be 0.9 rem. However, I'm going to give it a color that's gold. I'm going to say golden, uh, golden rod, which is a yellow, kind of a yellow color. Let me now save and refresh, and uh, as you can see, it's going to look amazing.